So The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has now officially been out for one full week, and it's incredible, and I've been talking about it with you guys on the channel all week. We all love the game. It's breaking sales record. It's incredible. However, what I'm going to do today is very not smart for the YouTube algorithm, and instead of talking more about Zelda, I actually want to talk about a small little game called Pikmin 4. That's right, remember Pikmin 4? It's Nintendo's next first-party exclusive release for the Switch. It is a much smaller release compared to Zelda. It is only two months away. I am incredibly excited for it, and I know that there are other people excited for it. However, it is certainly in danger of being overshadowed by the massive release that is Zelda, not to mention other big releases coming out in June, such as Final Fantasy 16 and Diablo 4. And so Pikmin 4, a game I am so excited for and I have been waiting for for literally 10 years since Pikmin 3 in 2013, is a game that I cannot wait to talk more with you guys about today. So, yes, in a way it does feel kind of weird to be talking about Pikmin 4 right now as opposed to more discussions about Tears of the Kingdom. But make no mistake, I obviously have more uh, conversations and theories and breakdowns about Tears of the Kingdom that I want to make over the coming weeks and whatnot. It's a huge game with so much to explore and discover and break down that just in terms of like making YouTube content, there's plenty of stuff still to go. In fact, I don't envision myself completing the game and the story for probably another month, if not two months, because it is just taking so much time to run through it. And so I wanted to sidestep and again focus on Pikmin 4 because I think it's going to be an incredible game and it's releasing at a very strange time in the Switch's library and especially within Nintendo's lineup for 2023 being the first major title to release after Tears of the Kingdom which will be one of Nintendo's biggest games of this entire generation. And it's also the last Nintendo exclusive first party game that has a release date or gameplay and footage and trailers and whatnot. I discussed this on my last video. We all know this. Pikmin 4 and Metroid Prime 4, the two fours, are the only Nintendo games we know being developed by them right now. I mean, we can assume some obvious things like a new Mario game is being made. Yes, we know that. But Nintendo hasn't confirmed it. We can speculate about Donkey Kong or Mario Kart or F-Zero, but nothing's confirmed and nothing is real. Pikmin 4 is real and Metroid Prime 4 is real. Metroid Prime 4? Total mystery. No trailers, no gameplay, no release date, no nothing. We don't know anything about that game yet. Pikmin 4 is a real game releasing in two months, and so I'm really hoping that this game finds a way to get a significant level of success, at least success that I think it deserves as a huge fan of Pikmin. So I thought it would be relevant and just kind of fun and interesting to take a trip down memory lane and revisit the weird path and what I like to call the curious case of Pikmin 4, right? Because it is a sequel to 2013's Pikmin 3 that released on the Wii U. In my opinion, maybe one of Nintendo's 10 best games ever made, or at least one of my 10 favorite Nintendo first party games. I think it's just absolutely spectacular on the Wii U. And only two years after it released, when the Wii U was still Nintendo's only home console on the market, Miyamoto had this very strange roundabout and unceremonious confirmation that Pikmin 4 was being developed and that it was apparently almost completed, but it never released or reveal, was revealed on the Wii U, and this was back in 2015. He actually said this in an interview in July of 2015. It's actually very close to completion. Pikmin teams are always working on the next one. We can confirm that Pikmin 4 is in development, but that is all we can confirm at present. And again, you guys, this was in July of 2015. That is almost eight years ago that Miyamoto said, literally in the dead middle of the Wii U's life, that Pikmin 4 was almost complete and was expected to be announced and revealed probably sometime soon. Here we are eight years later, and the game was only first shown to us last year in 2022, and will only be releasing this year in July of 2023, which means it's actually eight years exactly from the reveal of a Pikmin 4 existing to the actual release on the next generation console. It never released on the Wii U, it's coming out on the Switch, which was the successor to the Wii U. Now something that threw a very interesting wrinkle into this whole Pikmin 4 situation is that one year after Miyamoto's initial quotes about Pikmin 4, in 2016, Nintendo revealed Hey Pikmin for the 3DS, which was a 2D only Pikmin game. And it was a game that I was initially extremely excited for, even though it was like on a 2D side-scrolling plane, 
I was very excited for it because I was totally into the idea of a portable Pikmin game, even if it was like a spin-off side-scroller. And I also loved using the 3D on the 3DS, and I thought it was going to look gorgeous in 3D. But they ended up confirming that the 3D slider and the 3D effect didn't even exist for that game, which immediately killed it dead to me. I never picked it up or tried it, although I'm sure it was kind of fun for what it was. And so, again, a year later in 2016, Nintendo revealed that game, Hey Pikmin on the 3DS, and then released it in 2017. And this sparked a big conversation and a big debate amongst many of us, especially myself, who was doing YouTube and covering Nintendo and gaming at the time, and others who were doing the same, about whether or not the Pikmin 4 game Miyamoto referenced in 2015 was actually this Hey Pikmin spin-off 3DS game. And many, many, many people just immediately said, oh, this was Pikmin 4, this is what he was talking about. There is no Pikmin number 4 game coming to the Wii U or to consoles. People just assumed that. To me, that never felt right or accurate. I mean, I was open to the idea at the time because it was also very strange, but I still didn't think that that made a lot of sense. And luckily, in 2017, Miyamoto did actually confirm, an, again, in a roundabout and vague way, that it wasn't actually Pikmin 4, and that, hey, Pikmin was just a 3DS game, and Pikmin 4 is a game that was still being worked on. I mean, by the time Hey Pikmin came out, it was like two years after Nintendo said, or Miyamoto said, that Pikmin 4 was almost done, and we never saw Pikmin 4, we just got this Hey Pikmin 3DS game. It was a very strange couple of years for the Pikmin franchise. Now, interestingly enough, if we fast forward to 2020, only two and a half years ago, we're talking less than a year into the worldwide pandemic at the time, Nintendo actually did reveal and re-release Pikmin 3 on the Nintendo Switch in the form of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. So that became the very next Pikmin release. It was only a re-release, but it was very cool to see it be ported from the unsuccessful Wii U to the very and extremely successful Switch, and that actually made it the best-selling and best-performing Pikmin game of all time. And that, of course, brings us to right here and now, where Pikmin 4 was officially revealed and confirmed last year, and now, like I said at the beginning, we're only two months away from the release of Pikmin 4. It turned out that it was in development this whole time, it clearly started as a Wii U title. They released Hey Pikmin as a spin-off game to probably tide Pikmin fans over. And then Pikmin 4 just went dark. It was a huge mystery. And for years, I remember doing YouTube throughout this whole period of time. Every time a Nintendo Direct was going to be announced, I kept saying, Pikmin 4 is real. It's going to show up eventually. Maybe it's going to be at this Nintendo Direct. And it was kind of an ongoing joke for a few years that I was having with myself and my audience that um, even though a lot of people just assumed Pikmin 4 was dead, and I certainly thought it was possible, I still never wanted to let the dream go. And so I was like, Pikmin 4 could show up, you guys. One of these days, it's going to come back. And sure enough, last year, it officially did. And it's so exciting. And now with only two months to go until the game releases, I think it looks fan-freaking-tastic. Again, it is releasing in the shadow of Tears of the Kingdom, but I still think it's going to be amazing. I need to talk more about Pikmin 3 again on the Wii U because of how absolutely wonderful I think that game is. And one of the reasons I said I think that it's maybe one of my 10 favorite Nintendo first-party games of all time is because not only is it a great game in, it, in itself with great graphics and great gameplay and just a whole clever hook, it was a great sequel to the first two GameCube releases. It's also because of the gamepad and the introduction of the Wii Remote. I cannot stress how game-changing it was and how, for me at least, how exciting it was to be playing that game on the Wii U and have my gamepad set up in front of me like on my coffee table or whatever with a real-time map and an inventory that I can do and use the touchscreen and whatnot while also using a Wii remote to play the specific gameplay style of Pikmin that actually works incredibly well with pointer controls. Using the Wii remote and the gamepad at the same time just took the standard, really good Pikmin gameplay experience into like a whole new echelon of awesomeness. It blew my mind and I thought it was so fantastic. And it's why I know it's very easy and common and low-hanging fruit for people to complain about the Wii U and the gamepad or to make fun of the gamepad and say that it's terrible. I'm telling you guys, I think that most of those people are just wrong in those complaints because a lot of games used it well. And anyone who thinks Pikmin 3 wasn't good by using the gamepad and the Wii remote together, I think is just really missing out. I think that they're missing the point. And so I'm glad that the game did get ported to the Switch so that more people could play it for sure. 
but I will stay I will say to my dying breath that anyone who missed the Wii U version with the gamepad and only played it on the Switch actually missed the quintessential perfect experience that was Pikmin 3. Looking at the sales for the Pikmin series, going by VG charts, which we know is pretty accurate, but maybe not the most accurate, but it's just kind of what we have to go on here. Um, it's, a, it's a great reminder and a confirmation that Pikmin has never been a huge seller, right? The first Pikmin, 1.6 million. Pikmin 2, 1.12 million. Those were both GameCube titles, right? We're going back to the early 2000s. Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, 1.27 million units, which makes me cry because the game is incredible. It should have sold 5 million units, but whatever. Um, hey, Pikmin, it looks like if I go to a different page for Hey, Pikmin... If I'm looking at this right, it looks like it's a total of 0 0.44. So 440,000 copies were sold of Pikmin. Hey, Pikmin, I should say. So basically half a million sold for that on the 3DS. And then Pikmin 3 Deluxe, again, is the best-selling Pikmin release. And it's a re-release on the Switch at 2.23 million. And so bringing it back to just Pikmin 4 itself to kind of round this video out... I really hope that this game does well for itself. If I'm being honest, even seeing Pikmin 3 Deluxe's sales at 2.2 million, I think that Pikmin 4, it's 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 strange. It's it's in a place where it's either going to get overshadowed and completely forgotten simply because of uh, Tears of the Kingdom releasing right before it, or it might almost add interest to another new Switch game so that two and a half months after Tears of the Kingdom released, a lot of people will have finished the game, or just kind of be ready to get something else exciting from Nintendo at the time. And so maybe a lot of people who wouldn't normally buy Pikmin might choose to buy it simply because they're still riding that Nintendo game high. So I literally see this game as either being doomed because of Zelda or be helped because of Zelda. I'm going to err on the side of positivity as a fan of Pikmin and somebody who thinks this game looks fantastic. I love the new Pikmin. I love the new characters. I'm so into the idea of Ochi the dog being introduced. I think it looks just flat out gorgeous. For all we know, this will be the final exclusive Switch release before a next gen console releases. And so I'm going to err on the side of positivity and say I kind of think that it's going to be helped by the current success of Zelda and everything that Nintendo is seeing because of that game. And so Pikmin 3 Deluxe at 2.2 million, I think that Pikmin 4 has a chance to outsell it. And maybe it hits 2.5 or 3 million or maybe even more. But then it's like, okay, are we going to see this game sell more than Metroid Dread? I sure don't know about that. It'll be just really fascinating to see how it plays out. But as a huge fan of Pikmin, and somebody who thinks Pikmin 4 is just going to be an absolute banger of a title, I think it deserves to be the biggest and best-selling Pikmin game. Releasing on the Switch already gives it a leg up, because we know the Switch effect is real and the install base is huge. And it helps a lot of games sell extremely well. Just look at Metroid Dread and Metroid Prime Remastered and Fire Emblem Three Houses and plenty of other games that have actually had their best-selling titles on this console. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a great, huge example, right? And so I think Pikmin 4 is going to do well. I hope that none of you out there forget this game. It's been a long road. It's been a crazy development. It gave us, you know, almost seven years of complete silence since Miyamoto first talked about the game. We thought the game was scrapped and was never going to release. But here it is two months away. It deserves your attention, I promise you. And so we'll wait to see what happens with Pikmin 4.